everybody and thank you for tuning in. Uh, today I'm really excited to do this video because I cannot wait to unbox this machine that I have in here and I wanted to do it with you guys. In this video I just want to touch up some reasons why I picked up this sampler while I already have my MPC-1. Uh, so stay tuned and let's do this quick unboxing. All right. So it's the MPC Live Mark II. Uh, here it is. I'm actually excited to turn this on and just run through with some reasons why I picked this up while I already have the MPC-1. So this video is not gonna be a full review of the Live 2 since I just picked it up. And honestly, I have not even made a beat on this yet. Now, some of you guys already know based off of previous videos, I live in a two car garage with my wife and my two year old daughter, which is a blessing. I'm happy that I have my family close to me, but at the same time, it gets pretty crazy at times while we're all in the same room. I mean, in this room right here, this is where we eat, this is where we sleep, where we have family time, we watch movies, and this is also where we work, and this is also where I make music. So as you guys already know, being in a two car garage, there's no separate walls or separate rooms. It can get pretty crazy at certain points throughout the day. The MPC-1 was cool. I just pop in my headphones and I kind of like zone out and I do my own thing. But even then, if some of you guys are dads or moms, you know when you have your daughter or your son right next to you. And sometimes we just want to disconnect and have our own privacy. Now with the MPC-1, I have taken it outside and I've you know plugged it in. I brought a long extension cord, which is just extra accessories that I have to have with me, which sometimes kind of sucks because I'm looking for cords and I have this long wire, my daughter's running around, she trips on it. Now I'm also aware that they have portable uh, batteries that I could have carried around with an MPC-1, but me personally, I'm just not comfortable plugging in third-party accessories to make my machine work. I enjoy just this, like this is it. This is pretty cool. Uh, there's no adapter or no plug, nothing. This is just all I need to make music. So yes, portability has been my main reason why I purchased the Live 2. Now talking about going outside and making music, another key feature is honestly the speaker. Uh, the speaker has been awesome. That's something very different that I have not seen in any other sampler. Uh, the reason why it's very crucial for me, again, I'm going back to me being a dad and having my daughter, because there's a lot of times where we have this center patio right here where we live, and it's a private center patio that we can go outside and spend some time. There's so many times where my daughter, she's two years old, she wants to go out, she's got a lot of energy, and I go outside with her, and when I'm outside, uh, I could put my headphones on, which is cool, but you know, when I put my headphones on, I zone out, and that could be a little dangerous because I'm, I'm with my daughter. But having a speaker on the machine, I don't need to bring out my headphones. I simply could just bring out the MPC and I start making music, the beats bumping out loud, my daughter's playing, there's no plugs, no cables, no headphones, and that to me has been a liberating moment and I've not experienced that ever while I've been making beats. Now the speaker on the Live 2 is awesome. You know, I've, it's definitely powerful enough to make music and to produce beats while you're just listening to your music through these speakers. But obviously I'm not gonna mix or master uh, using this speaker, but it's good enough to make music if you're just outside and you don't wanna be having any headphones on you. Now those two things that I mentioned, honestly, were the main reasons why I made this purchase. But I am gonna mention a few other extra perks that you do get with the Live 2. But honestly, to me, I wouldn't have made this purchase if it were just for these extra things that I'm gonna talk about right now. But some extra perks that I am gonna mention has been the ability to install your SSD drive uh, in the back of the unit. That has been really cool. Uh, right when I got it out of the box, I did install, I had a terabyte SSD card with me and um, I installed it. It was really easy and it's installed and that honestly is really convenient. Like. <laughs> 
you know, I'm obviously have the option to have my SD card right here in the back, but having that extra SSD slot inside Honestly, that's a pretty cool thing to experience. Now, another thing that I'm gonna mention is the extra outputs that the Live 2 gives you. I believe it has about six outputs, counting the master output, which is left and right. And just having those extra outputs, it just gives you a little more options when it comes down to tracking your beats in Ableton or your DAW. Uh, me, I use the Apollo interface, which you guys can see in the background. The Apollo interface gives you a lot of flexibility with your preamps while you're recording into them. You can color your signal with different preamps that they're emulating, and that honestly gives you flexibility with the sounds that you're capturing. Obviously, these are extra things that I'm not really like, oh man, I need that, you know, but it's really cool to have and I'm excited to explore it a little bit more and see what I can do with those extra outputs. Now, there's a lot of other things that I'm not gonna cover up. Again, these are just some of the few things that really set out for me and I'm excited to dive into. But one last thing I do wanna touch up on is Coming from the MPC-1 into the Live 2, there's obviously some differences, but I feel right at home. It's not like a separate, different machine for me. Like, everything has been smooth. I've been navigating through the menus. I, it feels the same thing, you know? It's not gonna sound different. It's not gonna perform different. It's the same thing, just a different layout with the knobs and the buttons. But at the end of the day, it's the same exact workflow, which is the MPC workflow that I personally love when it comes down to making music. I've always enjoyed the MPC workflow. Uh, the, the huge difference that I noticed was me using the 2000XL, which I used that MPC for years. And when I jumped from the 2000XL into the MPC one, that was a big difference. But I still felt at home, I understand its language, and it was honestly fun to explore and develop a whole brand new workflow within the same language that I'm used to. So as of right now, I'm gonna continue to explore it, make some beats with it. Uh, I'm still really slow. I'm trying to figure out some of these uh, shortcuts and, and function keys and all that. Now definitely the MPC-1 has everything laid out for you. It's, to me, I'm obviously faster in the MPC-1 since I'm more comfortable with it but you know, you got functions right at your fingertips versus the Live 2. You do have to do some manual diving, which I don't know, hopefully I get used to it because so far it, you know, I just kind of find it a little weird doing the manual diving, but, but I'm still very new to it. So it's gonna take me some time to adapt to. Now, before we go, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and let's cook up a beat on the MPC Live Mark 2. Again, I'm still exploring this thing, but let's see what we come up with and let's have some fun. Let's see what we come up with. Uh, I'm gonna lay down some drums first and then uh, we're gonna sample off of vinyl. I just got a brand new uh, record player which sounds way better than the other one that I had. The other one was really bad. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's get some going on before we start sampling. a little better let's see what we have right here and make sure my monitoring is on Stay darling. Stay in my dude this record is so dirty that's not cool <laughs> Uh, this is the problem, or not the problem, but this is where I keep getting mixed up, where I go to my program editor, I have to go to, where is it, menu, pad two. That's super, com well, it's confusing right now for me, but hopefully I get used to it. You make me, you make me, oh, so. You make me. You make me You make me You 
<laughs> and try not to put your NPC on a stool like this. I just hope it doesn't fall, which it won't. Just a quick uh, disclaimer. You make me you You make me You make me You You make me You make me You make me